The Honorable Muntaka is saying that it's better a member of parliament raises it. Uh, the floodgate should not be open. Um, the speaker should not be acting on, you know, uh, petitions from outsiders. I hold a different view. And remember the Amwatin era, uh, the Privileges Committee had said that they could grant him, you know, um, uh, a, a leave uh, as long as he wishes until, you know, he is done with his uh, uh, legal uh, woes that he found himself in. Uh, when he's out of those shackles, then he could come back and take his seat. Uh, Professor Kwekua Sari went to court and on 11th December 2008, the Court of Appeal held that what the Privileges Committee did was wrong. You cannot keep the people of Nkranza at the time, you know, um, uh, I mean indefinitely uh, unrepresented. And that once you go beyond 15 days, the seat must be declared vacant. I am aligned with the Court of Appeal decision. So I'm not really in the Muntaka camp. I, I am saying that, look, I don't care how the Speaker... Are. Look, the Speaker on his own my reading of the standing orders the speaker on his own even without anybody uh petitioning the speaker on his own could have asked the privileges committee to take up the matter and deal with absent uh, absentee mps look we must build a strong institution an institution of repute an institution with a good image how do we feel when we are always being bashed that you know People are not coming to parliament, colleagues are not coming, so we form a quorum. Um, so many meetings have to be adjourned because a quorum is not formed and all of that. And I am disappointed that even as an institution, we don't seem to have the internal mechanism to detect. You know, if, if it hadn't been some of us who did the research and it emerged that three, earlier the focus has, had been on only one person, the Honorable Ajosafu of Dom Kwabenya, you know, and the irony is that one of the people who was hard on her, always bashing her, unleashing a lot of venom on her, he himself apparently, you know, uh, has questions to answer. He's been caught in the web. So I am sad that as an institution, and that's why I've, I've been calling for parliamentary reforms, so that as an institution, once MPs cross the 15 day absentee mark, it will be detected. We can automate. We can use technology.